And welcome everyone to a Scouts of Entertainment Reforged replay. It's a nice 5v3 at Thranduil's Halls. Now before we get started, you probably can send me through other Reforged replays like this. Or other 12 war replays like Shodan 2, Rome 2, Warhammer 2, just to name a few. There are links displayed on your screen, and also in the description below. You can also send me replays to my Discord at Scouts Reconnaissance. There is also a link to that Discord in the description below. We are welcome to have you. If you're a YouTuber, there's also an area you can post your own YouTube videos to in the self-promotion sub-channel. There's also a PayPal option, subscribe star, Patreon, or stream as donation link if you like to support my work. There are other ways though you can support my work by smashing that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, tick that bell for notifications, and leave your own thoughts about this battle in the comment section below. I just want to highlight too that I got 60% of my viewers currently unsubscribed at the moment, so I hope to earn your subscription today. With that, let's get into it. So, today's replay comes from Awesome Boss Death, who's one of three defenders today, commanding the Dwarves of Erebor. We have some Dragon Slayers of Ered Mithrin, some Sons of Durin, some Obsidian Guard. The rest of his army is out here. We have Axe Cut of Erebor, two units here. We've got some Ironfoot Spears, two units there. And next we have some Ironfoot Warriors, one unit guarding the first, or well, middle choke point. We have some Ironfoot Warriors here. Airball Legionnaires, Blacklock Engineers, some L Airball Legionnaires, Alpha Pikes, two units there, and the rest of his army is up here. Some Alpha Crossbowmen, I think one unit there. I think he's got two units somewhere here. We have some Alpha Axoers, two units, and yep, there's the other unit, Alpha Crossbows, right there. And we'll head over to his first ally, the Dwarves of Kazadun. Made by Jordan. We have some warriors of Khazadun here. We have two units of Khazadun Reclaimers. Second Legion Axe Guard here, two units. Centuries of Khazadun here, three units. Three units of Fourth Legion Shield Guard. Two units of Sons of the Fallen. One unit of First Legion Pikes. Guards of Khazadun, Legion Bodyguard, and Mithril Guard. Heading over to the other side here, we have some Realm of Lothorian. Commanded by Panther. We have some Watchers of the Golden Wood here, some Lauren and Archers, two units of Woodland Protectors, two units of Lauren and Spearmen, uh, maybe three units here of Lauren and Swordmasters, maybe, and some Lauren and Warriors here. We also have some Chaos Colonel Guardians, and some Lauren and Axemen here, maybe two units. We also have some Gladrian Blade Masters hiding, and some Watchers of the Golden Wood. I don't see anything else there. Lauren and Archers, if I didn't say that before. But that's all I can see there at the moment. And with that, let's go to the first of five attackers today. First of which is Dol Amroth, commanded by Y2K86. We have two units here of Belfast Marines. We have some Ed Helen Halberdiers here, two units. We have some Dornell Swordsmen over here, looks to be two units there. We have some Ed Helen Men at Arms, armored up. We've got one, two, three, four, five units, I think, there. Some Tonostian Spearmen there, or Tonostian Spearmen, two units. We have some Blackstone Renegades, two units. And some Haven Guard. And that's all I see there for him. Moving on. We have Mordor, commanded by Blue Ranger. We have some Temple Executioners, armored up, generals in this unit. We have some Mears Morgul Chosen next. We have some Mordor Infantry behind, in front of them, sorry. Four units there. We've got some Orc Archers, two, uh, Orc Javelins, sorry. Some Moral Infantry, two units there. So a lot of Moral Infantry there. The range has gone crazy in these Moral Infantry today. We have some more Orc Maulers here, sorry. Some Odlog High and some Troll Drummers. And that's all I can see there for him. No Temple Guard. A little bit odd. And no Black Guard of Baradur either that I could see there. Maybe we'll see them later, I don't know. Next we have Gondor here, commanded by the Trumpster. We have some Gondor Archers here, two units, armoured up all the way. Pelagon Marines here, two units. Some Gondor Spearmen, looks to be two units there. Axemen Osnark, armoured up all the way. So yeah, Trumps has gone for an elite style Gondor Force. Every armour upgrade that is available he has maximised. We have Gondor Infantry, three units. We have Citadel Guard here, two units. Fountain Guard, just the one. And some Wardens of the White Tower. Okay. Our fourth attacker today is Dale, commanded by Legatus. We have some Blackshot Dragon Slayers. We have two units of Barding Herd, Swordmasters of Esgaroth, armored up, Artella Rangers, Seldon River Patrol. We have 
two, three units here of the Surrender Earls of Dale. And we've got some Lake Town Infantry here, three units. This is a light bow unit first and foremost, then come, becomes a light tier. Essentially Dorian L. Swordsman, but of the Dale version. We have Biting Marksman here, two units out front. And that brings us to the final attacker today, the Realm of Mirkwood, commanded by the Steward of Dale. We have two units here, Spears of Emmendua. Some Woodland Realm Patrol here. We have some Bows of Emmendua. Some High Earth, Sword and Shields. Looks to be three units there. Some Greenwood Watchers next. Some Woodland Protectors. Woodland Realm Axemen. Blades of Emmendua, a Ballista. And surprisingly, that's what I see there for him. But we might see other units later. I expect to see other units there, but um, that's all we can see at the moment. And so we'll get the siege started, guys. Enjoy. Now we obviously have a small march ahead of us until the attackers are in position. And the defenders organize themselves because there's going to be a small grace period here. So we'll see you soon. Okay, guys. The first arrows have been fired. And Laura and Spian have taken the brunt. They've lost a couple of troops there. Nothing too serious at this stage. Spears are endure heading up. Just to sort of catch the elves in case they try and charge the orc archers down there. So they're acting as a barrier, pretty much. Lake Town Infantry. Pretty much all three units here being marched up. All Eiffel Warriors remain here at the base of the choke point. We've got Eiffel Crossbows here, winding up. I don't know who they're playing to hit though. Joran and Orson need to communicate a little bit better. Reclaimer is probably way too close to the action at the moment because, well, their enemy isn't in range just yet. Now, the accuracy of the crossbows is pretty good. Okay, we've got a lot of troops coming down the pass now. Mere Small the Chosen being sent up already. We got Lorian Warriors mixed in with Lorian Spearmen here. That's a potent mix. Should be able to easily hold back the spears from the door. Now it'll take a while for the late infantry to take down these elves here, but this is doing a lot of good damage here to the defenders, so Panthers gotta do something about that. He's trying to get his troops there in the mix. Do. He's, like it's just, he's holding his ground here. And we've got some Gondor infantry being sallied up here. On the Trumpster. This would be a good place for... Defend where, where are the archers or the defenders here? I know that we've got some Lauren archers right here on the walls here, but... Um, as you can see, most of them are shooting upwards here. Very few are shooting at a more accurate angle. This is probably why the defenders don't come down the hill too much, especially when there's a blister in play. Stuart Yale getting a lot of good kills here. The only saving grace here for Panther is that the elves have great morale and not easily spooked by fire. Unfortunately, Panther is wasting a lot of ammunition there. He should be having one archer unit down here. So you can shoot at the defending forces, sorry, the attacker's forces coming up the hill. Where they are now, he's not getting good fire at the moment. There's some more infantry over here. Armful crossbows are not being activated just yet. King of Akelibor are not firing either. Castle of Reclaimers can be moved up just to fire on maybe the Moron infantry. Or even the Mere Small of Chosen. I think they're in range. But Joran hasn't moved them up just yet. Of course, shield guards also there. Sentry's Castle Doom, sorry, standing by. Well, can't just firing in at the moment. Hey, 
do you? Just to get the angle they need on their enemies. The Eiffel Warrior is standing by. And that blister is also pointing their way and can get some good kills here on the walls where they're standing. firing so we'll see what they're aiming at. Okay. Well it could be worse. That, that's not too bad there for the big wars. I actually expected that person to get more kills. Some lumbermen over there in the distance. Where are they going? Okay, they're just standing by. I guess the mortar tried to go this way but gave up pretty quickly. Oh, there's a couple of soldiers there. We got crossbows still not firing. I thought Axe was being brought up here. We got Rise of the Golden Wood nearby but not firing. This makes you question why they're here in the first place. On the front lines, I mean. Where are the, the axe stars targeting? Who are they targeting? I think they'll be able to hit the Mia's Morgul Chosen. I'm surprised they're not going for the Mia's Morgul Chosen. Out of all these targets available, too. Javelins, I don't think have been brought up just yet. We got troll drummers here. Riders of the Golden Wood could target them. Gondorian archers again targeted by the Riders of the Golden Wood. And there are targets available to the defenders here, but the defenders aren't biting just yet. Pelly Marines, that's a threat to the dwarves. You have to think. Really awesome want to target these guys. But it's apparently not, at least not yet. It is a little surprising. Watch it. Watch it. Okay, the is not firing at all. But um probably needs to get them off being banked and so I mean, I personally don't like the embankments on this map for Fringle Souls. I mean, it really affects the accuracy of your archers. At least 25% to 50% of your archers, depending upon where your target is, down below. But it's not too easy to get good shots there off on the embankment. be a fight that the war should be able to easily win, but the late 10 infantry have been firing into them for some time. So these dwarves, this particular unit, is damaged to a degree. Target while looking so attractive is just a collection of very light tiered troops. So I know Vegetus is trying to bait the defenders, but it is really enticing bait. Really good enticing bait. Probably not using that English very well. We got dismounted Earls of Dale here, Ed Helm Men at Arms, Royal Infantry. Now this is great fire here from the Kindred of Calibron. Try shot works perfectly. We've got good units here, lots of them. Making it very hard for the Kindred to miss. And each shot of the try shot is actually landing its mark. Or hitting its mark.
Oh, that looks cool. Okay, Trojan is just nearby, boosting morale here. Kazumi Claimers getting a shot here. We need to try and target the Tenesky Spearman. Maybe even the high earth sword and shields. Now, I didn't say this before, but Stuart Dow didn't, didn't, didn't appear sorry, to armor up his units. And so what we're looking at here is a basic model here of Merkwood. And he might have favoured a more um, a numbers based force than an elite styled Merkwood. So I find the defenders holding pretty strong. The defenders line though, this is where it looks like it's the thinnest, right here. Now a lot of Merkwood's light tier troops actually are absorbing that axe fire. I don't know if it's intended for the Tenosti and Speedman or not, but it's definitely being intercepted there by the spears of Enon Dua. Okay, we've got more and more troops trying to actually snake through the gap here on the left wing. We've got some Kasadami claimers ready to throw their axes and then you to try to get through that gap, maybe. Because here they come. And Joran's reacting, but actually no. I thought he was going to try and get these guys run, run them away, but... He's not firing. He's not reacting to it. Well, they should start firing to soon, or at least send the unit in there to bolster that left line, the left flank. He's only the front line to be folded up here. Okay, here comes the Sentry's guys are doing. He's going to try and target them, positioning them more to the left. He's doing that. Yeah, okay, he's doing it. Oh, he's just positioned. He hasn't sent them in just yet. Tino Calibron not firing. I for crossbows. They're targeting the moral infantry down here. I wonder if they can hit the big blob of trips over there. Blue Ranger. Yeah, they're definitely targeting that unit of Boron Infantry right there. Still no movement yet at Choke Point 2. This will be Choke Point 1. Pack is stepping up their assault here. We've got Watchers of the Golden Wood standing by. If they can hit this big blob of troops over here, I'm surprised they're not firing. Anything you can do to send that attack into a panic and sort of cause a massive chain round. Defender's holding strong there. Pelican Marines nearby, but not firing, don't have a target yet. Wooden protectors down to 85. Okay, they're targeting the Nazgul. Oh, we know the general's not in this unit. Now, watch as the guy would last a mile, the most accurate unit in the game. We'll start to miss when that unit becomes really spread out. So, right, right now, we've got two units of the Nazgul here, the other seven are way down the other end already. 
And so that sort of screws up with the accuracy of that unit when that happens. What's this guy? Oh, it's probably down to 10. Oh, it's the down to 10. It's a full unit there. That's the commander. I wonder why he's so far away from the rest of the Olokai. It is 14 to 23 at the moment. Stack the ranks. Pelican Marines have a shot. Got, is that the old Javelins? It is. I was here targeting the Orc Javelins. And 114. The Axos aren't killing them fast enough. Those Javelins are getting good damage there with the Wolves. The Pelican Marines were trying to fire there, but it looks like they can't find a target. Walk down to 53, so Axel is starting to have an impact now on that unit. This is probably very frustrating here for YTK86. You should be able to get a target now. You have to think. The Warriors of Sentry is there. Pretty open to it. You know, forcing the shield guard as well. It's got to be able to hit that. It's just down to 55, so they've lost almost 50% of their men. Manfred Axo is targeting Belfast Marines. They probably got to fall back. Unless they're going to shoot up there, they got to fall back. There's no way they're going to use their ammunition before the units depleted so much. At this rate. Axo is out of ammunition. So that's a saving grace there for the Delphi's Marines. Do I need to bring up more more on infantry? Walk javelins. Firing in again. Marines have chosen a better target. It is 20 to 34 at the moment. Consider me planers here. Do, do have ammunition. They're firing it now. This is like a Merkwood unit. Oh no, it's a Dale unit. Sword Masters of Asgard. They gotta be out of range now. It's surprising the attackers managed to station so many troops out in the open. And the defenders haven't been able to get too many kills here. But mixture here of Lauren and Axman, Lauren and Swordmasters, and Lauren and Spearman just holding the front lines here with the unit of Arthur Spears. I think these guys are still up here. We've been fighting for a little while. Down to 75 now. We've got small line of elves holding back some Dronel swordsmen. Probably should be able to hold them back. 
we're fresh in here of Warner Warriors and I've got crossbows out of ammunition looking to reinforce the right flank. Citadel Guard leading the charge forward. Got here. Rainwood watches on the front lines here, but they could theoretically run forward here, throw their daggers into the on foot warriors, and then run back. I mean, what's there to stop them from doing that? We've got some wooden protectors back here, but no archers. Which is the gun without firing. They still have their bows. They still got ammunition. You got Syrian ammo, Syrian sorry, Syrian ammo ranges over here. Well, the range is targeting this area. They're trying to target exactly. Blackhawk engineers are here. So they targeted the Pelican Marines. Wooden well, protectors might be next if they still have ammunition. I thought Axel was targeting the wooden protectors. Black Hawk Engineers finished off the Pelican Marines. Down to 20 now. Sons of the Fallen being committed to the front line. Black Hawk Engineers, this has got to be the last volley. Has to be. That was a bit overkill there for Black Box. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, some of them are wasting ammunition. Prying the sides of the hill there. They're shooting it now. So they were targeting the Ed Helen Mena Arms. Yeah, they're out of ammunition now. Okay, it is 29 to 49. Balance of power is pretty even. Got some bows and Mandua being brought up. Axel Osnark being sent down. This is really needed here. Suadal committing his wooden protectors, firing on the wars. It's a shame Legatus's infantry, he's not doing it on purpose in any way, shape, or form. He's just getting in the way there of the wooden protectors. Because if that infantry wasn't there, then those protectors could fire. Unopposed on the door of the mine. I didn't see any iron watching mirror me before. But over here, we've got Mithril Guard being sent down. Okay, the attackers are committing a lot more forces now to this choke point for sure. We're shooting at him. Riders of the Golden Lord, okay. Watches. Yeah, watches. So it's a bugger. It's really hard to sometimes see a volley from the people watches. I don't see it too much. You blink and it's like you blink and you miss it, it's over. Now, this is a bit strange. I don't know, this is like a. This is bloody, yeah. He's a steward of Dale's man, no wonder. He's got the, he's got the um, blade, sorry, the Galadrian Blade Master's dead to rights. But now, Panther's got him dead to rights. We have ammunition. The 
Nazgul are muted here. Go off the crossbows coming down. Let's go Panthers forces. This appears to be the checkpoint where the attackers are having the most success, I think. They're struggling a little bit in the center and on the right on the left flank, so checkpoint one, this is checkpoint three. Shot. There's a blister over there. Stewie doing everything he can to sort of help his team out a little bit. It wasn't a bad shot. I took down seven or eight. And they're firing again, so let's see what they can do here. Somehow convincing the worst of the target one of the enemy troops in this line here, where you can maximize the most kills. A little bit of friendly fire there. Range should have a target. Yep. Uh, they got a little bit of friendly fire there, but for the most part, those are good hits for the attackers. We try and aim for the lowering the axe point for them to arc the javelins over their own friendly troops. We've seen them do that in the past. He had a couple of volleys there made an impact from the Pelican Marines. Because the momentum was with the Elves before, but when those volleys happened, Gondor started pushing back up the hill on this side. Oh, that was a bit unfortunate. A little bit to the left. I got some hits there. Blackshot Dragon Slayers. We've got Barding Marksman, Barding Herd, and Woodland Axe, all here. Okay, YTK General is gone. We've got Swordmasters of Asgore there. Haven Guard over here. Halberds and Mormon infantry all here. The tanks need more men. We've got the Haven Guard here, which is important. But I think the Nazgul are needed to sort of help overcome the sons of the fallen for sure. Second Legion Axe Guard being committed. Without reinforcements, this attack will fail. 58 to 77. Originally, Orson had a few units inside the Citadel there at Fenrir's Hall, but he's since sent, I think, a couple of units out. His general unit is still inside, though. Is this? Oh, they're broken. Those guys are broken too. Okay. The enemy general lies dead. He has sent the car to hell. It could be the mortal general. Blackshot Dragon Slayer is firing in. 
Yeah, well, like high comfort. That's good work there from Ranger. Just gotta hope his other guys survive long enough for Gondor to really push through these L's here. Because the other guy definitely disrupting the formation. Looks like he's trying to get his other guy out of there. Space has opened up. They could get their Blackshot Dragon Slayers through here. Fountain Guard will be needed if any Dwarves are sent this way. Okay, Defenders really stacked the, stacked the deck here. But Temple Execution is here. Pelagon Marines, Swords of Esquire, Axeman Lost Knight. Pretty even fight here. Think about that and being committed over here. Don't know about the wardens of the white town. to 83. I like waving their flags, don't I? Dead, but there he is. We've got a handful of Haven Guard left, and they're surrounded by the dwarves. Panthers forces there. The attackers appear to have committed everything. And now Panthers trying to try and attack the rear. The other two battles. So he might head over the choke point too. I look like trying to finish off the rise of the Golden Wood for sure. Seventy-three to eighty-nine. Yolokai, it looks like it's trying to go after the wooden protectors. I thought the riders might run interference. Apparently not. Okay, Blackshot Dragon Slayers. Looking to deal with the wooden protectors themselves.
has the stability ammunition here on this one protector unit. Citadel guard here is surrounded from the Trumpster. The more he's up against, there's no way the Citadel guard can win at the moment. 77 to 93. Probably times two speeded, I think. I think the defenders do have this in the bag. There goes the general of the Trumpster. I like I trying to get as many kills as I can. Sit of the guy were obliterated just now, they must have broken. Runs of the white tower down to a handful of men. Okay, awesome working with Joran, sandwiching the Blackshot Dragon Slayers. This is probably our last real fight here. Oh, the more, the more black shot got killed. The dual bladed, the dual bladed guy. Okay, congratulations to awesome boss death Joran and Panther on their victory. Awesome getting 2117. Joran MVP for the match 2498. Panther 1844. Y2K86 565. Blue Ranger 498. The Trumpster 997. And Legatus on 543. Stuart Adele, 920. And that was just a really good defense. I mean, the defenders were pretty comfortable there. They shifted resources to where they were needed. Even though they sort of struggled to use their archers a little bit, in the end, they got themselves back on track and used their axe throwers really well as well. Looking at the kill count here, Blackhawk Engineers, 247. Ironfoot Crossbows, 186 and 206. Ironfoot Axe Throwers, 192 and 286. And Dragon Slayers of Arid Mithrin, 107. Arable Legionnaires range from 91 to 120. And Arthur Warriors, 110. So the units did poor to excellent, I'd say. Obsidian Guard won't use that much at all, that's why they only got 19 kills. So, you know, I'll keep that in mind. Same goes for every other unit as well. Okay, thank you to Awesome for sending in the replay. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.